Ladies and gentlemen, wow, this is just uh, unbelievable. Pro Prime Minister, <laughs> Prime Minister Joanne, um, Joanne, you, uh, we've, we've given you a lot of coffee over the years, for the last 10. Some of them caused me to choke on my cornies in the morning, and, uh, but mostly they haven't. Um, if you want to see the uh, Prime Minister's security people get into a real tiz, you uh, find out that he would like to go for a helicopter ride without it having been checked out. And uh, there was a little bit of stress around the camp. Um, I'm not going to talk about all the details, but uh, you can see from the, the team behind me that this was a hugely team effort. And I know that there are just about half of the room has had an involvement with this project over the last 10 years. So congratulations to all of you as well. Um, Joanne, Joanne mentioned a little bit about the post-earthquake issues and uh, after the earthquake, Central Plains consisted of, of four people and uh, we were homeless like most people and uh, we were uh, very fortunate that Bruce Irvine gave uh, Susan Goodfellow, our environmental manager and myself, a, a salubrious office in his stationary cupboard <laughs> where we worked for about three months. <laughs> Um, we were then uh, again homeless shortly after that and we were taken in by, uh, by Irrigation New Zealand and eventually Solid Energy, whose, uh, whose team, many of them are here tonight and have provided the technical and financial resources to build the project. So while Solid Energy has had its troubles, um, we've been a great beneficiary from that. And without that support and the support from ECAN and the banks and landowners, uh, we wouldn't be here. So I'd just like to say congratulations to everybody here tonight, because together we're going to make Canterbury great. It's a real honour to be standing here tonight. Our chairman, Doug Catherwood, is currently in Canada. So as one of the directors, I'm expected to say a few words. This whole project has been about teams and trust. And you hear it all the time about sports teams, etc., etc. But we have a, a team that have financed this project in the form of about 300 odd shareholders and two banks, Westpac and ANZ. Between us all, we've come up with about 180 million to finance this uh, to start with. Then the next team was our board and Derek as our CEO. We've worked together, had the one vision, and got there. The next team involved have been Derek's team, and they are a team. We're very conscious that there's businesses out here in Christchurch at the moment that are looking at some of our team, but just as a warning to all of you, they are a team. <laughs> they are not individuals, they are a team, and they work that way. And then, the final team that we've had as part of this have been our contractors. Fulton Hogan, John Holland Joint Venture, and then Downer. And everybody has worked together. We've delivered this project in 16 months, from absolutely nothing to the point where I now have water flowing onto my farm. And so that team has worked very well. We've enjoyed ourselves. We've had the odd hiccup on the way through, but we have mastered them. But at the centre of the team is our CEO, Derek Crombie. He's held everybody together and got us to here. And so we as a company and as individuals owe Derek a debt of gratitude. And I'd like to thank the sponsors tonight and the Chamber of Commerce. It's a real pleasure and an actual honour to be standing up here in front of such a salubrious group of people out in front of us. So thank you very much.